Hi, and thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to go over the Gen 2 Sig Sauer pistol. Um, it's a P320, and the difference between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2, it's really easier to see here um, in the gray model. You can see you have your slide release. It's pretty large, it's down here. There's some folks who complain that they hit that with their hand. In the Gen 2, there is a ledge to protect this slide stop from being activated by accident while you're shooting the gun. You can notice it is quite a lot smaller with the smaller profile and the bump in the plastic frame on both sides. It makes it a lot easier to manipulate the gun without accidentally hitting it. And if you purchase a caliber exchange kit or a different grip module, since they're only shipping the Gen 2s now, I believe, then you will get a bag with a package of parts in it that is your slide catch assembly kit and what we're going to do is install that it seems like the installation is pretty straightforward there's a pin that works with this one and they actually send you a slide catch itself a spring, and a little plunger. So you have three pieces in this bag. I guess that's always good just in case you lose the other one. You can see this large pin here at the top is what articulates that and is going to come out the left side of the gun. So I'm going to turn it upside down. And this is the way Sig says to put it in. And there's the old one. So what I want to do is I'm going to take the new one, set it up exactly the same way. You see how the little bump is sitting? The longest portion of it goes through the hole, which makes absolute sense. And it is smaller. You notice there's a bump on both sides of it. I don't know how easy this is going to be to see. It's very easy to drop, but one side's larger. The smaller but longer piece will go through the hole in your slide catch. You'll add the spring to the top of it with the flat large portion of the spring downward. Then you would just set this on top and line up things. I was afraid of that. I have to reach over here and raise it up some. I'm going to slide my finger in to compress the spring just a wee bit. And it slides right in. And there we have it. Switch that out. And I'm putting this in my back in my Gen 1 frame. It'll be easier to see well, what the difference is. It's a, little, a lot smaller. Now there's also a difference in the Gen 2 in the slide release, or excuse me, the takedown lever. It is a good deal smaller on the Gen 2. And I'm pulling the gun apart here. I'm sorry if some of it's off camera. The main difference is in the bump out right here. That I don't know if I can line this up right or not with it. It's a good bit thinner, so whenever you have a good strong grip on your hand, you're not bumping it with the gun. I'm going to leave this on my smaller gun, which is going to be my carry gun, and I will put this back in the bag. If you have any questions, please post them below. Those are the major differences between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 SIG 320s. Pretty painless way to, to change your slide catch. Of course, it does come with instructions. The small piece of paper that's an instruction manual always says if you're not confident in this, take it to a certified SIG armorer or call the phone number that they have to ask questions. I was pretty confident in being able to perform a pin swap. As you can see, there's not really anything to it. But if you have any questions, you can also contact me. 
or any of the number of Facebook groups that has a lot of SIG people shooters on them. Until then, please click subscribe and see what comes up next with our, your SIG 320s.